हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर्स रिव्यू टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज मेंटल हेल्थ अ क्राइसिस अंडर द कार्पेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अ मेंटल डिसऑर्डर इज कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय अ क्लिनिकली सिग्निफिकेंट डिस्टरबेंस इन एन इंडिविजुअल्स कॉग्निशन इमोशनल रेगुलेशन or behavior which is usually associated with distress or impairment in important areas of functioning since mental health problems affect our thinking feeling mood cognition and behavior there are many different forms of them anxiety disorders are a group of mental illnesses that includes generalized anxiety disorders social phobias specific phobias panic disorders ocd etc In behavioral and emotional disorders in children it includes oppositional defiant disorder conduct disorder bipolar affective disorder is one of the most common types of mood swing disorder previously regarded as manic depression why depression is a mood disorder characterized by symptoms like lowering of mood loss of interest and vigor and diminished energy few other types of mental disorders are obsessive compulsive disorder paranoia and schizophrenia according to the national mental health survey 2016 14% of the indian population suffers from one or the other form of mental disorder the cumulative impact of biological social psychological inherited and environmental stressors leads to mental illness and the interplay of these elements results in a variety of disorders Firstly, biological. Where well, there are many biological reasons in play, like genetics or heredity, infections, prenatal damage, brain injuries, poor nutrition, etc. Secondly, psychological factors, which includes psychological traumas, loss of loved ones, feeling of isolation and unwanted. Thirdly, environmental factors. that includes dysfunctional family divorce changing jobs or schools and socio cultural expectations and lastly changing lifestyles were globalization modernity and increasing incomes have made a mess of healthy lifestyles there is a 90% treatment gap in india for persons with mental illness since mental illnesses cannot be treated with the traditional healthcare infrastructure instead a specialized and advanced mental health care network is required unfortunately in india the majority of the population doesn't even understand the concept of mental illness and those who understand would often look down upon the mentally disordered persons as was said above mental illnesses are either despised or made fun of by society Even families in India often try to brush the problem under the rug out of concern for stigmatization by the neighborhood. Due to the lack of adequate state efforts and enough penetration of health insurance, people have to resort to consulting private mental health professionals. Adding insult to the injury, persons with mental disorders not only find it hard to get employed full time, but they are also prone to get paid less and fare dismally on their performance appraisals in a society where patriarchy is deeply entrenched women are more prone to mental disorders as they are subjected to gender discrimination social exclusion sexual abuse etc patients with mental disorders need to be followed up after the treatment but india lacks this ecosystem No matter what efforts the governments put in to contain the mental health crisis as long as people keep on embracing the so-called modernity blindly without judging it on its merits these efforts would always remain inadequate The Indian government has launched National Mental Health Program in 1980 to which emphasis on treating the mentally ill persons provide rehabilitation and prevent mental illness The Mental Health Care Act 2017 has provided certain provisions like establishing health services providing rights of mentally ill persons decriminalizing suicide and providing insurance to mentally ill persons Kiran helpline is a 24/7 toll free helpline provided by the ministry of social justice and empowerment This helpline provides an online help for people in mental distresses 
Manodarpan initiative is launched by the Ministry of Education under the umbrella of Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. It provides psychosocial aid to students, family members, and teachers for their mental well-being during the times of pandemic. National Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience has made a one-stop source app known as Ra app for all the information related to mental health care resources in India. Download material for this issue from our website. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you.